Hey everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome to another episode on how to grow dragon fruit. Today I'm going to be showing you how to root your cuttings insanely fast. And a great big thanks goes out to Paul over at the YouTube channel Rare Dragon Fruit. I was talking to Paul about our project and Paul was kind enough to donate some of his rare dragon fruits to our collection so that we could grow a proper orchard for this series. So after this video is over, check the description box below. I'm going to have a link to Paul's channel, Rare Dragon Fruit. He's got a load of absolutely amazing content related to dragon fruit. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to his channel and tell him two guys in a cooler sent you. So let me show you what we're working with today. Paul sent me 20 different varieties of dragon fruits, and I am very excited to add these to the collection. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you not only how to root a lot of dragon fruits at once, but to root them very quickly. All right, let's get started. The very first thing we want to do when rooting, and it doesn't matter how you root, is make sure that your cuttings are calloused over. We're going to be rooting this in water. These are some nice stem cuts, uh, and we're not going to have the water too deep. We're only going to put it about an inch or so uh, from the bottom. But it's very important to make sure that your cuttings are calloused over before you begin. And the way you callous over your dragon fruit is just to place it in a shady area for a couple of weeks after you receive them. And you're going to notice that the, where it was cut, it's going to turn nice and white. It's no longer going to look like a fresh cut. It's actually going to be quite firm. And then at that point, you can go ahead and start rooting. This is a really great way to root a lot of dragon fruit really quickly, especially if you don't have a lot of space or a lot of pots. And so I'm just going to take a 12-quart bin and place my dragon fruit in it. And I like using a 12 quart bin because it's not so easy to tip over. You can place these in cups or you know ice cream containers or whatever you want, but sometimes they'll tip over and then you'll get water all over the place. So we're just gonna use this 12 quart bin and I'm gonna begin to arrange my dragon fruit starting with the largest ones first. And this is what it's gonna look like. Notice how the majority of the cuttings are upright and that's going to be absolutely perfect and now we need to pull out our secret weapon so we're going to move that to the side and grab our heating mat a heating mat or a seedling mat is designed to increase the temperature of your soil by 10 or 20 degrees which is going to help germinate seeds quite quickly this is a great uh, gardening tip just to germinate in general and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing our bin of uh, dragon fruit cuttings that we're going to be water rooting on top of that heating pad. Now, I am going to do it two ways. We're going to be water rooting without a heating mat and then water rooting with a heating mat so that we could just see the difference. All right, so let the tests begin. After a day, I'm going to take the temperature of the water without the heating pad, and the temperature is 66-ish Fahrenheit. With the heating pad, the temperature of the water is 81, it looks like, 81.8. And now we wait. So I'm going to check in about three days. And when it comes to water rooting, you're going to want to make sure you change the water out every three to four days. That's just going to keep everything nice and clean, and it's going to help your root structure develop very quickly. All right, so on day three, not a lot going on with the bin that's not on the heating pad. The bin that's on the heating pad, we're starting to notice some of the cuttings develop some small roots. So that's a really great sign. So I'm going to take this time to remove the water from the bin, add fresh water. And just a piece of advice right here, you want to be very careful with your cuttings because as soon as they do start to develop roots, those roots are very small and very tender and can easily get knocked off. And you definitely don't wanna do that because that'll just set back the process. Okay, so our bin has been washed. We have fresh water back in it. And now I'm just going to carefully uh, replace all those cuttings back into the water. I'm gonna put this bin back and grab the bin that's on the heating mat. First one out of the chute, let's see how it looks. Oh yeah, that's great. Absolutely beautiful. And this is mainly due to that increased temperature because of that heating pad. So let's take out the rest of these cuttings and see what we're working with. And you know, right off the bat, day number three, which is incredibly fast, it looks like we've got about, I don't know, a half a dozen or so cuttings that are starting to develop their roots. Very cool. 
And just like before, we're gonna clean out our bin, add fresh water, and then just carefully place our cuttings back into that water. We'll give it a little peek at one week and then we'll check back on it after two weeks have passed. All right, so after two weeks, this is what our cuttings look like that have been rooting in water without a heating pad. So we're just gonna do a little quick overview and then we'll take a look at the other ones. As you can see, some rooted, some have not. And it's not uncommon to have some stubborn dragon fruit cuttings that just take a little bit longer to root. And what I've done here was I've separated the cuttings. The ones on the left uh, have not shown any signs of rooting and the ones on the right uh, are just getting started rooting, all right? So this one right here looks like it's got about the most roots. And even with this one, I'd let these continue rooting for at least another two weeks. So let's look at the ones that have been on the heating pad. Same exact amount of time. We've changed the water every three to four days. And look at the difference. I mean, we've got some absolutely magnificent root growth on most of these cuttings. And for all intents and purposes, most of these are actually ready to be planted in the soil, which is really our goal. Uh, let's go ahead and separate the ones that have no signs of root growth uh, compared to the ones that do. And there we go, five on the right, and we have 17 cuttings on the left that have absolutely gorgeous roots. And that's just a testament to how much dragon fruit really enjoys those warmer temperatures. So if you want to speed up the rooting process, consider getting a heating pad. If you want information on the one I used in this video, there's a link for it in the description box below. And that's all I got for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to follow me on this dragon fruit growing adventure, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.